All right, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you how to kind of realistically render um, Legos inside of Blender. So first things first, you're going to need to go download Blender from um, just the Blender Foundation. Just right here, blender.org. There will be a link in this video where you can download it. Um, you're also going to need this next program called stud.io. And I will also link to this program in the description. It's, it's pretty much just like an updated version of LEGO Digital Designer. I made a video about it a little while ago. Um, so you need that. You can find it here, stud.io. Just go ahead and download it for Windows if you have Windows, or Mac if you have Mac. Alright. Um, the next thing we need to download is an LDRAW to Blender importer. And it's just this one right here on GitHub. So we can just go ahead and clone or download it. So you just download the zip file, save it, is, uh, save it to where you'll be able to find it later. So I already have that downloaded, so it's right there. Now we just go back into Blender. Um, if you haven't, I would definitely suggest going and watching Blender Guru's first tutorial um, series on this. It's really helpful to learn all that if you're new to Blender, because I can't really explain it that well, because I'm pretty new to it as well. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete all of these right now. Um, we need to go ahead and install that plugin, so we just go File, User Preferences, um, go to Add-ons, and then Install from Add-on File, and then you go ahead and find wherever you saved your file. That's why I said you have to make sure you know where it's at. I saved mine in Blender, and then it's just this Import Eldra Master.zip, so you go ahead and um, install the add-on from File. I already have it installed, so I'm just going to hit cancel, but you guys go ahead and um, install. Uh, the next thing you're going to do is it's going to have you, it's going to be unchecked when you very first um, install it, so you just need to go through, it'll look like this, you just go through and make sure that box is selected, and then save your user settings for later. Okay, um, now we need a, an LDRAW file. So you, you do need to have LDRAW installed. So again, LDRAW, there will be a link in the description of this video as well. Um, you go here, you go and you download everything, mainly just the parts. You want to get the entire parts library. So just go ahead and use this link to download the entire zip version of the parts library because that's what we will be using. Okay, now let's go ahead and get a model in here. So you can, th this program's nice because you can import a um, Lego Digital Designer file or an LDRAW file, or you can make your own parts here. So we'll go ahead and we'll open one up. Um, you can see there's just a ton of different things. We'll start with this tree first. Um, <clears throat> so once, once you have your file all in here, you just go to File, Export as, LDRAW. So, and you can just go straight with an LDRAW file too, it doesn't matter. You just export it as an LDRAW file. Save it where you're going to remember it. So we're just going to go to my Blender file. And we're going to name this tree. Make sure it's se selected as .ldr for .ldraw and save it. Okay. Now we'll go back to Blender. And we can go up to File, Import, and then now you'll see it right there, Import LDRAW. Before we move on really fast, we do need to make sure that we have the LDRAW parts file path correctly um, input right here. So what we're going to do, um, you just go and wherever you installed LDRAW, you will find this parts folder. Um, so I took mine and I actually copied it to my solid state drive so it's a little bit faster to load. So you just go here, you go to the parts, um, you go to the LDRAW folder, and then you go to the parts again. Um, so you don't open that all the way up, you just right click, go to properties, just copy this file path. So C drive, LDRAW, parts, LDRAW. So then we just go over here, 
And so if this was blank, like what it's going to be when you first open it up, you just take that and then you copy that there. And then you're good to go. Anyways. And before you select the file, we want to go over here. These are all the presets. Um, you can choose the realistic look, the realistic colors. You can change the resolution. So if you have like a slower computer or you're going to be using a lot of parts, I'd say use standard or low. But for just a tree, we're going to go ahead and use a high resolution. Um, make sure all these are selected, the smooth faces and bevel edges. Also, um, make sure that these are not, so not checked. It kind of messes up your whole setup before. All right, usually you'll want a space between them just to make them look more realistic. We'll go ahead and give it a 0.1. Just kind of make sure these are all checked the way that I have these checked. And then now we'll go ahead and find the tree file, the LDRAW file. So we'll go to the blender. Then we'll go ahead and do the tree.ldr. And it does take a second to import, but now we have this tree. It's all has a nice beveled, the smooth look, and the spaces in between the parts. So what I'm going to do really fast, where I don't have a camera or anything set up, I'm just going to go ahead and select all and then copy it. So control C, and then I'm going to open just kind of a setup or a lighting setup I had earlier. I'm going to go ahead and delete that and then set the tree here. And then we'll go ahead and go into the rendered view by pressing shift Z. And then there we have a tree. It actually looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and increase the brightness over here. Just a little bit so you guys can see it. So as you can see, you have the nice reflections. Um, whoever made the plugin, they have all the nodes set for the realistic Lego colors. So if we go ahead and go to our node editor. Oh, we do need to select a piece. Not sure why it's not showing up right there. We'll go here. Okay. Um. Oh, right there, the materials section. Sorry, I had in, I've been installing some other add-ons, doing some messing around. So people have already gone through and set up all the colors for the different Lego parts in the LDRAW library. So it'll do like the Lego green or the Lego brown, just depending on, you know, what you're using. But it gives you some really nice, really nice um, models. So you can go ahead and go and start animating, or if you just wanted to do some realistic, um, realistic renders, you can do that as well. We'll move this camera a little bit to kind of set it up a little better. Just like that. I'll go ahead and show you guys a scene that I've done. Um, there are some really cool things you can do where now you have access to all the LDRAW parts library. I'll go ahead and show you something pretty simple. So I'm just gonna hurry and um, get rid of this tree. It is always good when you first import them to put put the tree on a different layer as well or whatever the model you're importing. Just trying to get rid of the tree and there we go. Okay, so we're going to go to a different la or layer right here. Um I'm going to import just a low resolution one by one stub that I already have. Actually, we, we'll do um, standard, res standard resolution right there. And then, so what I did for this one is I, I simply just took a one by one stub like that and then exported it as an LDRAW. We'll just name that one by one, stud, and save. Then we'll go back to Blender, 
Um, let me just refresh this really fast. Blender, there's one by one stud, so we're just gonna bring it in. All right, so now some really cool things that we can do. Um, what we'll do is we're first gonna deselect that, so just hit A to deselect, and then Shift A, and we'll go ahead and add a plane. Gotta find where the plane is. Oh, I don't know why it's clear over there. It looks like the 3D cursor is over there. So we're just going to set it down. All right, now what we want to do is first we'll select the stud. And I, you guys don't have to follow along perfectly. I just want to show you guys that you can do some really cool things with this where we have access. So we'll select the stud first and then the plane. We're going to hit Control p to parent the stud to the plane. All right. And now we're going to just select the plane, make sure nothing else is selected. We'll go over here. And we're going to be using dupliverts. So we just hit verts. Now, we're going to go and add a subsurface modifier. And we're going to use a simple, so it's a square. And we're just going to turn that all the way up for both render and view. Now, you can see it's just a big jumbled mess right there. So we're going to just deselect everything. We're going to come up here and find the plane and hide the plane so we can just find the Lego brick. Just select just the Lego brick and then turn the plane back on. And then we're going to go to the top view and we'll scale that down. just until, so we want to make sure that it's an orthographic view. Now you can just scale it by hitting S and dragging. So now, we'll turn on the lighting setup again. We have this whole, whole kind of um, <clears throat> field of Lego bricks down. And what we're going to do with this now is we can kind of make a landscape. So this is just something I learned just see it just today, earlier today or something. We go over here and add a displacement modifier. Wherever it's at displacement. We go here and we're gonna use this texture tab and we'll add a new and we were using clouds earlier. And we'll just uh, turn this down a little bit. So now instead of just a, um, a flat surface, we have kind of a rolling green hill like that. And the way I, I was using some like random um, texture modifiers to get all these different colors. So what we'd have to do is we would have to go here, go to the node editor. And just select the one by one brick go to the materials. So I just had it set up with like the object info and then to random and then I um, put it down into the color like that. So if we turn that off it'd just be straight green on everything but now if we're using the randomizer so we can actually go in and add another color make it like pink that way you guys can just see there's just a ton of um, things to do and I mean, I, I'm still pretty new to Blender, so I'm not the best at explaining everything. I don't know what everything's called, but I'm trying to get a little better at it. But anyways, um, that's just kind of how you can do more photorealistic renders in the uh, blue PO, POV ray or whatever um, that a lot of you guys have used. I'll show you guys a quick scene that I did, um, kind of using these techniques that I've been learning. So I just kind of made a quick scene um, of this little guy named Hans that I made. So I went through and um, kind of edited a bunch of the nodes and stuff to make this German soldier and then just imported like a STL file of a Stahlhelm. It's going to take it a minute to load. I'm just using my laptop. Alright, there's uh, 
Hans, he's just sitting on a hillside taking a break. I have this um, artillery piece up here. That was designed by Brian Fitzsimmons, so I, he just let me use the LDD file, and then I imported it into the stud.io. So I'll just show you the guy. You guys can go ahead and import any model you have, if it's a LEGO Digital Designer file, or really whatever you guys want. An Eldra, LEGO Design Files. So, we'll go, I think it was this one, the 150 millimeter. So you guys can just import, you know, old LEGO Digital Designer models. I'm going to delete the one by one brick. And then you just go ahead and export is Eldra again. And then you just find it and import it into Blender. And it just gives you some really nice looking renders. Um, that one, let's see. Yeah, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, just as you guys can see, there's a lot you can do with it. It's a bit overwhelming at first, that's why I'm saying go and watch Blender Guru's um, tutorial videos. In fact, I was just looking at him to figure out something. Um, this whole series, this Blender Beginner tutorial for beginners, um, that that's really helped me just kind of get the grasp and learn the basic controls of Blender to be able to do all that. Um, but anyways, yeah, uh, go ahead and mess around with it, guys. If you guys have any questions, just comment and I'll do my best to answer. So, thanks guys.